Hello traders, it's E from marketwizard.com and eminiwizard.com. It's about 3.30ish uh, on uh, Tuesday, the 12th of March with a quick update and a reminder to use risk capital you can afford to lose if you're playing this game. Tricky markets. And there's never a guarantee about your trades working, so use stops. And I've tried to provide some ideas for traders, uh, not only in our room, but freebies for people in, um, you know, out there on Twitter land. And uh, yesterday made this observation, 82 broke, so now it turned into our support zone. And obviously one day that the pigs did not get slaughtered but that's not typical. Most days, pigs get slaughtered. So let's take a quick peek. This was a chart that I had posted earlier to traders in our room. <clears throat> and uh, this is our resistance zone up above us on the OTF chart. This I thought would be our primary uh, trade resolution area, our battle zone. And then below the 92s, uh, 93s, we have the support zone, and I felt that's where the break was yesterday, <clears throat> and that's holding shorts captive for now. So very important chart, big pivot up here at 12 and a half, contract highs, and then who knows whether we can get up above those or not. We know NASDAQ did today. Uh, I think there's a shake and bake right now. I'm not looking for a plunge, could be totally wrong, but certainly I think this was get Charlie thinking just like yesterday it's going to go going to go and realistically no I'm I'm thinking it's going to it's going to go it's going to go overnight without us that's just the way they play it <clears throat> 10 minute RTH chart I've been following you can see the <clears throat> breakout yesterday and the huge push and <laughs> choppy, 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 and then finally get a little relief. Here's our intraday chart. I thought this was too steep a trend line. I told the traders in our room that. And I said, hopefully we can get ourselves back in and test it. If we could break 97 and come back in and test 94 and a quarter, knock those guys out. Um, but I, I still don't think a lot of technical damage was done and said if we can get back to 92s, we've probably done well. And primarily the 30-minute chart is one of the reasons I believe that because this has worked so well today. So <clears throat> buy zone back here in the 92 area if you want it. And this would be a retest coming up back into that 98, 99 area where the overnight high was. Got to put a couple charts together. It's not just about one. At least that's the way I look at it. Angels and demons. 86.75, call it 87 if you want. Got a push this morning, trap traders. Thought it was going to keep going to the moon, but we had a feeling be very conservative this afternoon, especially if we got a new breakout. Be very careful. We've been using that 04 high, 04 to 5.5 as a resistance target. Felt that the risk and reward really diminished there today. And here's that 04 high that we referenced earlier. That's the controlling highs. Longs, of course, would like to bust that high and, and take out all of the stops, run, run stops. And I think after yesterday, it's a bit of a stretch, but still, you know, it's, it's certainly possible. Uh, and that's the goal of the boys, try to obviously bust that. And then you still have that 12 and a half resistance zone that we're looking at. Boys have to get it up above that and to tackle any new high in, in this contract. And I put that this breakout back here yesterday. This is that 82 breakout right here <clears throat> where we took that out and then just kept on sailing. So that's a very important support right now. If we break that, then we open the door to come backwards. And here's one more look that <clears throat> we talked about with our traders. 
And that's simply taking a look at that previous high that was busted. And then obviously coming back to um, the breakout and trying to understand the relationships between a couple of days of swing. So from this 26 to this 03, we've had a pretty good swing. Um, and, and certainly we want to understand even the two-day swing. If a 1% move is about 28 points, then obviously, you know, we've, we're looking at um, a multiple of that, but they really did most of it in one day. And then today, they're just kind of catching their breath with that move. And, and that leaves for obviously a, a little bit of a differential that we really need to say, okay, we're tired. And, and in a two-day swing, we get it. You did most of it yesterday. And then today, you took off and went to the beach or whatever. But you still averaged in that idea of, a, say, a couple of percent move. So between yesterday and today, that's about 62 points, say 31 points average per day. So there's your 1% move on top of each other. So that's what one of the reasons we felt that part of rollover perhaps was just <clears throat> shorts wanting to fill positions at a much higher level. And obviously the boys starting to say, okay, maybe we should grab something here after this egregious run. So, so these are the runs that you really have to, you know, concern yourself with just getting too aggressive shorting because the market can just do whatever. And I think most traders yesterday felt that it was going to at least get a small rotation backwards, and we never did. Um, and that's obviously always easier in hindsight. So probably if you were lucky, you left chips on the table. And if you're unlucky, you, you had no idea about discipline. Um, and so today called for caution on our part. We thought we'd get a two-way day today, just you know, backing and filling a little bit. And we're still going to keep this uh, big idea back here. It is 82 to 78. We said today 75 is our you know, position for longs that gets busted and anything goes. So, so that's the level we're looking at right now. And then a, a more aggressively, this 82, obviously the 78 right, right here in this area. So we shall see. Um, but for now, obviously no technical damage on just backing and filling and here we are. Monthly look side by side. We're in this fighting zone right now, support zone right here, resistance zone right here. Simple as that. Taking one step at a time and then reassess as we market moves. And one last look at our predictive chart. <clears throat> Told the traders to let's think about this box right here, the yellow box, 93s and the oak threes, and that's where most of our trading is going to be done and range traded. If we bust the 92s, then obviously we can close the gap and test anything back in here. But for now, we said just keep it neutral and think range type trading in that small box. All right, this is E for Market Wizards and demonywizard.com. And uh, best of luck with your trading.